Morning, I thought I'd uh, share with you this morning um, how to install the uh, hardwire cable into a Mini F56. Um, I'd seen one or two things on YouTube but um, everything seemed overly complicated. Um, this is basically straightforward with um, a hardwire kit, a piggyback connector, um, this one. Just make sure you get the right one. Uh, there are two options out there and that was the, the one I got wrong first. You'll notice that the uh, connectors are uh, wrong on this one. This is the right one for this mini BMW. And some just some basic uh, trim tools, um, things like that. And a bit of a coat wire, long coat wire. I'll show you in a moment. Um, so first off, just locate the um, fuse box in the car which is just behind the uh, dashboard the in the glove box um, if you look in here you'll see there's the fuse box and there's actually a spare fuse in there uh, under number 52 um, which is located here if you pull this piece of paper out um, and that will show you the numbers um, but the number 52 is actually spare, but it is live and it does operate the dash cams really well. Um, so as you can see, I've installed the piggyback uh, connector there and I've actually put in an extra um, connector onto the piggyback cable, which again, easily available on uh, eBay. Um, you just press on and that becomes a spade connector there for anything else that you want to then connect afterwards. So um, on my wife's car, we've got the um, Road Angel on one side, and then I've got the dash cam tucked, I'll oh, see it, round there on the mirror, which is what I'm gonna to install today. Um, so all of the cable, everything nice and neatly tucked away uh, round the back. So, first of all, let's just pop some trim off, uh, starting from here. Um, just pull the uh, rubber seal off for the door. Um, this comes away nice and easy, there's nothing uh, major about that. And then just pop this trim off here. You'll see it comes away pretty easy. Uh, if you can avoid taking this out, do this is the airbag warning uh, or the key um, reason being I did it on my car and um, it caused a, just a warning light um, which was reset by the garage but it's you don't need to as you can see to take that off there um, so what we're going to do is access the fuse box from here um, and that's as much trim removal as you need to do using your long wire here um, basically insert this through the gap and you'll see that that then pops out just feed it down and it will come out at the fuse box there so what I'm going to do is take the positive cable of my new hardwire kit, um, attach it to the end of this coat hanger bit, uh, and just feed it through, pop it onto the uh, connector of the piggyback wire, and um, then the, the earth cable, um, I've used the this nut here, based on the car, and that gives a really lovely earth um, for the negative um, and as you can see for the hard wire that's already in there uh, that's working the angel um, that's then just tucked away nice and neatly behind the uh, dashboard there and then the actual cable here um, just simply runs up round the edge of the trim across the top here and then neatly tucked under the trim of the roof lining so there's absolutely nothing shown at all there so 
Um, I'll do that and then um, I'll come back in a moment but hope that helps. Okay so here we are um, I've now got the um, positive of the new hard wire cable uh, on the coat hanger thing and um, fed it through um, I'll just pull that off pull that through um, just the thought actually if you can't see the uh, where to put the coat hanger um, just shine a torch in here and um, you'll either see the reflection or you can actually from here see the um, number five a row of number five fuses five amp fuses in there so um, connect up the the cable um, and um, just pop that onto the spare connector I've inadvertently pulled off the uh, the piggyback which um, isn't helpful um, so it's no big deal just um, probably with a torch um, have a look down um, you'll see F52 which is actually in between two other fuses uh, and it just pops back on so it's as easy as that really um, so you can see when you move it you can see now that uh, zoom in a bit for you um, so you can see everything's connected in there and um, I'm just going to connect the earth up on this bolt like I showed you like we talked about uh, here um, now that is a 13 mil uh, nut so um, if you've got a socket set or a, or a screwdriver or a, a spanner set rather um, it's actually uh, pretty straightforward um, and that just fits on there nicely um, so again I'll just do that and then uh, we'll get this finished off and tidied up okay so let's put the uh, negative on here everything like I said before is tucked away so um, that's the negative on there tighten that one up and it's as nice and straightforward as that really um, took the um, all your cable bits this is obviously going to go over there to the dash cam um, the other thing to note is that if you get a choice between a straight connector or a right angle connector just have a look at your dash cam before you do this to see how it sits in the window this is a, a VFO a119s with GPS and it comes in straight from the top um, which is neat um, if it didn't have the GPS on it comes in from the side um, so I'd recommend getting one of these but a right angled one and it just finishes it off neatly um, so as we say took all of this all of the little uh, power box and everything away in here you're not going to see that again now and there's no need to see it um, you can just pop everything behind there there's plenty of space um, and then feed your new cable <coughs> up here uh, I won't pop that trim back on just yet until I've finished but as we said before this cable will just sit comfortably around the back of here and then across the top just use your uh, trim tool if necessary to uh, apologies if this is a bit of first YouTube video so uh, but took that in there and again you don't want to see anything so but there's so much space in here it's really easy just to tuck everything away nice and neatly and the same here this one just sits in front of the trim 
and then behind the ceiling one. So give yourself plenty of cable up there. I'll finish this off in a better in a moment. And then that one can just go tuck into that corner. I hate seeing cables, which is why I go to the trouble of seeing getting this tucked out of the way. And just pop that around the back of there. There we go. Marvellous. Gone. So that can go straight across over to the dash cam. Um, and then we'll just. Uh, what I might do actually is just get a little tie wrap or something for this little box, otherwise, there could be some vibration there. So I'll go and get a little tie wrap and then we'll just tidy that and tie that off somewhere against one of these panels just to keep that nice and tight. Okay? Um, I think that's everything for now. Just put all the trim back on, pop everything back on when you've finished, and um, it shouldn't take you really that long, but um, probably first time around you're a bit taking your time but um, it should work and it works very well with the cameras and uh, the dash cam. Okay, cheers, bye. Okay, just um, finished off here so we'll just uh, show you where the trim's gone back on, um, all nice and neat. Um, just be careful when you're putting this back on, it takes a little bit of just lining things up but it should then pop on here and like so. And as you can see, cables all tucked away around the back there. And then push your door trim back in. So you can't see anything. Get that back on. It's not gonna fit, just pops back on it basically. And line it up if you need me. Give it a nudge. There we are, how neat is that? And then fuse box in there, just Tuck everything in out of the way. Keep that stop that from popping out. So all tucked away nice and neatly there. And then get your fuse cover that you took off originally. And here it is. And hey presto, that should go clip back in. Nice click. And then we've got the Again, all the cable tucked away, all the way along the roof lining. And then, as you can see from here, there's the GPS module for the camera. Um, I'll start the engine up so you can see it working. And uh, I'll come back again. So there you go. So the camera's beeping at the moment, telling me, telling me off basically I haven't put a, a card in it yet. But, um, uh, there it is working away nicely and um, that's discreet nice and tucked behind the mirror um, if I turn the ignition off then um, it'll turn the power supply off and it should power down there we go switches off so you don't need to fiddle with it as soon as you get in the car turn the ignition on it comes on turn the ignition off it goes off um, just depends on the settings of course of these things but um, that's nice and uh, neat tucked away behind there as you can see so um, that's the end of this if you've got any questions just drop me a line but um, I hope that helps cheers bye